Russia developed a new dangerous weapon for its navy against Ukraine's drone threat. For Russian troops, the Morena 300 maritime attack drone has been developed, which can transport up to 250 kilograms of explosives over 250 kilometers. It is noted that Russia's military has developed a new explosive naval drone, according to a new report, as Moscow contends with Ukraine's persistent and often successful uncrewed waterborne vehicle attacks on its Black Sea fleet. The new kamikaze uncrewed surface vehicle is equipped with an inertial navigation system. It is also known about the development of another drone, the Phaeton, which is designed to transport equipment. The Russian company Airberg from Yekaterinburg presented at the Heli Russia exhibition a promising transport and reconnaissance drone, Phaeton, which can take off vertically. The maximum flight time is five hours and the range is up to 500 kilometers. The system can carry weights up to 15 kilograms. It is reported that the development takes off vertically thanks to four upward pointing propellers from any convenient platform. The propeller is powered by a gasoline internal combustion engine and has a spacious fuel tank, noted Deputy Chief Designer Sergei Snigirev. The UAV can transport various equipment weighing up to 15 kilograms. A version of this drone without electronic warfare is used for cargo delivery. According to Snigirev, the system can be used to track communications and pipelines and for urgent delivery of goods to disaster areas. The military is also showing interest in a drone model with a long flight time and high range. The system is currently being tested and is planned to be put into mass production by the end of this year or the beginning of next year. The more than two years of war in Ukraine has spurred drone development in the air, on the ground and on water. Kiev and Moscow have invested heavily in their drone programs, with both sides battling it out to produce more and to innovate quicker. The new kamikaze naval drones will be fitted with satellite navigation and an inertial navigation system, according to the report. Doubling up on navigation systems helps accuracy and reduces possible problems caused by jamming. Ukraine has become known for its water Waterborne drone use, its USVs menacing Russia's Black Sea fleet, partially based around Crimea, as well as key infrastructure linking the peninsula with mainland Russia. Moscow has controlled Crimea for a decade and Kiev has vowed to reclaim it. Russia sends African students to fight in Ukraine. They are being used as cannon fodder. As Russia's manpower shortages are exacerbated by losses during its current offensive in the Kharkiv region, Russian officials are forcing thousands of migrants and foreign students to fight in its so-called special military operation in Ukraine, Bloomberg reported, citing unnamed European officials. The Kyiv Post says that Moscow authorities are employing tactics akin to those used by Yevgeny Prigozhin's Wagner mercenary group to recruit convicts, combining promises of good pay with threats to cancel the visas of African students and young workers unless they agree to enlist in the military. There are numerous reports of Africans in Russia on work visas being detained and threatened with immediate deportation unless they agree to fight. Some of those targeted have reportedly been able to avoid being mobilized and to remain in the country by paying bribes to the recruiters. The Russian practice of forcing migrants and students to join its war has been going on since the earliest days of the full-scale invasion. A European official said, these foreign troops are thrown into battle after receiving the bare minimum of training and suffer extremely high casualty rates. Bloomberg said that the Russian Foreign Ministry didn't respond to a request for comment. Ukrainian intelligence agencies say that Russia is engaged in a global recruitment drive seeking foreign mercenaries in at least 21 countries, many in Africa. They offer lucrative signing bonuses and salaries for individuals who will join up as contract soldiers, often using employment agencies in those countries to identify those who have looked for employment in Russia. In January, it was reported that mercenaries from Somalia, Syria, India, Cuba, China and Serbia were fighting for Russia in Ukraine. A Serbian recruiter, Dejan Beric, 
said that Moscow's commanders treated Serb volunteers like cattle, calling them gypsies. Some Serbs who refused to be sent into a meat assault with virtually no weapons were branded as deserters and war criminals. In February, CNN reported that as many as 15,000 Nepalese had been recruited, many fooled into thinking they would be working in service industries, according to Nepal's former foreign minister Bimala Rai Podyal. An unidentified senior Ukrainian military official told Bloomberg that there has been a major increase in the number of foreign fighters captured by Ukraine on the battlefield, with those from Africa becoming increasingly common. Yevgeny Primakov, the head of Russo True Nishestvo, an organization whose mission is to strengthen Russia's humanitarian influence in the world, said at the St. Petersburg International Economic on Thursday, June the 6th, every year we sign up about 6,000. 500 students from Africa to study in Russia for free. Various estimates put the number of African students currently in Russia at between 35,000 and 37,000, with similar numbers employed on work visas.